Here we have for sale our absolutely stunning 2021 on a 71 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is a T28, T6.1, so T28 means it's got 2.8 tonne gross vehicle weight and a T6.1 is the generation, so sixth generation and this is the facelifted model. It's got the two litre TDI diesel Euro 6 engine with 150 brake horsepower and this one is mated to a seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. Finished in Ascot grey, an absolutely stunning factory VW colour that they haven't long released on the Volkswagen Transporter. Clearly this one has been tastefully converted into a full camper van. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around, I'll show you the spec uh, that you get on a Highline uh, transporter of this age, but of course we'll talk you through the full specification of this particular camper van as well. So as we always do in these videos, uh, start here at the rear of the vehicle. And we can see that this one, the first thing which has been added to this is the lovely bike rack on the back of you. Of course this can be removed if you didn't want it, but a fantastic addition to the camper van. Also, of course, we can see that this one is specced with a rear glazed tailgate. Of course, that makes it a lot nicer. I mean, almost essential on a camper van, gives you that um, shelter from the rain, but also being glazed, it then gives you a viewing point out the back as well, so it makes it easier to reverse as well. Looking inside the vehicle then, we can start to have a look at some of the specification in here. So we've got this fantastic biscuit colour uh, rib rock and roll bed, but it has got a lovely red twist to it, which we'll show you around the other side. So this is a very, very soft material on the top of the bed, which is actually the part that you'll sleep on, uh, but then a leather part there, which you uh, would be sitting on. So it really does have a fantastic premium feel to it. Of course, being a camper van, fully carpeted and insulated in the back. And of course, because we have got uh, an awning on this particular example, you can see that we have got the uh, awning pole there, which you can use to wind it uh, in and out. We've got cupboards in the back here then. So I believe these are Evo Design uh, cupboards. So we've got plenty of storage. And you can see as we come down here, this is where we've got the electric switchboard and of course the cable for the 240 volt electric uh, hookup and you can just see the space that you've got in there so plenty of practicality well well thought out indeed and you can open this cupboard from the other side as well and this is where you've got your uh, charge controller for the solar panel so we have in fact got uh, a solar panel, a flush solar panel on the roof of the vehicle as well. One other thing to note while we're back here as well, you can see that we've got the lovely red van shades uh, blinds throughout the vehicle uh, for, of course, privacy as well. And that includes on the rear tailgate as well. And then nicely tucked away here, we've got the uh, bamboo uh, table, which is secured inside the rear tailgate. If we shut the tailgate then, we can continue then to go around to the passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, so another sort of extra on this particular vehicle is that we have got glass all around. So a lot of camper vans will come with just glass in maybe the side loading door. But this has got glass all around. And again, it just provides a much better continuation uh, just in terms of style really throughout the vehicle. And just looking here down the side of the vehicle, we've got these fantastic 20 inch alloy wheels. And they're in a lovely uh, sort of matte bronze color. Uh, and again, they just complement the Ascot gray absolutely perfectly. Another addition, of course, we've got the lovely side steps as well, which not only uh, aid in uh, styling, but to offer, of course, practicality as well to be able to get in and out of the vehicle. If we open up the side loading door, we can start to have a look inside the vehicle then. So this gives you the first proper look at the seats in here. So you can see, as I say, we've got this lovely red uh, sort of Alcantara uh, center part with the lovely detail on the stitching and the VW badge there in the backrest. And as I say, the leather outer part with the red stitch as well. The front two seats are on a factory uh, VW swivel base. And then you can see here that we have got 
the diesel heater as well. And that diesel heater is actually on a, uh, a modem as well, so you can actually control it using an app on your phone. So you can set it on or off, and you can actually set a timer there using your phone. In terms of other uh, specification inside here, we have got a lovely suede lined uh, roof hatch here, which of course slides forward and that just hides all of the gubbins really for the roof. So the straps um, and the material of the roof, that completely hides all of that away. It just gives it a very, very premium feel in here. LED lights in the roof just here. And if we have a look uh, then at the kitchen area. So above the kitchen, we've got these quite handy drawers here, maybe some spices, something along those lines up here. So this gives you a really good look then at the, the van shades in the side. Of course, you've got opening windows as well. And then we've got the control panel here for your lights. So the lights here control uh, these lights just here, pump for your water and AUX is for the USB ports, which are located up there. You've got extra controls here for the heater if you didn't want to use it on your phone and you've got a couple of uh, three pin sockets there as well. Another lovely feature of this one is we have got the top loading fridge. So we've got these little boxes here on top which of course can be removed and then underneath that a really deep fridge and as I say all loaded from the top. Dometic appliances. So if we look in here at the glass, open those up, we've got the tap on the right hand side and then the double hob there on the left. Underneath that, got a little cupboard just here where you've got your gas and your water container. This is the rail where the table uh, is fixed to. Lovely soft close slider drawers, which I think is just a lovely touch. Some deeper ones here at the bottom as well. I'm just having a quick look at some of the spec here in the cab. So, as I mentioned, we've got the seven speed DSG automatic gearbox. Being a Highline model, you do get air conditioning, heated windscreen, all completely as standard. Looking at the screen here, we have DAB radio, you have App Connect as standard, so you can uh, connect your phone via Apple CarPlay to this. Uh, no problem at all, and that gives you all the functionality that you'd want in terms of satellite navigation, playing your music through your phone, all very, very straightforward. A couple of USB-Cs here, a 12 volt socket, of course all the book packet and everything is with the vehicle as well. The vehicle has covered just over a thousand miles and it was registered in November 2021. So of course you've got the balance of manufacturer's warranty until November 23. Full multi-functioning steering wheel, cruise control on the left hand side, and your onboard computer controls on the right, auto activated lights and wipers, uh, heated electric folding mirrors, which are really, really comprehensive spec. If I just show you the roof here, so let's say with the the loading hatch, slide that back as I haven't got it strapped down at the moment, but all you need to do is basically just strap this here. Of course, the straps do come with the vehicle. Push this up, and it's on gas struts, and as simple as that, the roof is up. This is a full scenic roof, so the zip goes all the way around the outside here, and that lifts the roof completely away. So you're in a sort of safari mode then. Looking up at the top then, you've got the double bed up here, so this makes it a four berth. Plenty of space, and as I say, you can see you've got these opening windows and also the zip which goes all the way around, which as I say is for then the scenic roof. If you don't want to use the bed or just for when you're using it day to day, you can push that up. Again, assisted by gas struts. And then that is completely out of the way as well. Let's have a quick look at the bed then. So we've got the uh, as I say, rib rock and roll bed. So it's a three quarter width bed, of course, with the, uh, with the kitchen there. As I say, you've got the same trim uh, throughout there, lovely drawers underneath. But I'm just gonna quickly show you how to operate the bed. One second. So there we are. So that gives you then, you're going from a combi seat all the way through to a full lovely bed. And as I say, what's lovely with a rib rock and roll bed is you actually sleep on the back of the seat so you don't get the contours when you're sleeping. And this is a lovely, lovely soft material as well. Continue then around the outside of the vehicle, moving around to the front. So we've got the Fiamma 
awning just there and this then gives you the first look at the roof in the shall I say erect position a lovely burgundy vinyl roof and just contrasts so nicely against the Ascot grey and complements the interior as well. Look around to the front of the vehicle on Highline you get um, front parking sensors as well as rear sensors as standard and you can see a lovely gloss black front splitter has been added here with a whole new T6.1 front end and colour coded front bumper and colour coded mirrors. So just to summarise, November 2021 on a 71 plate Volkswagen Transporter T28 is a 150 Highline uh, what would have been a panel van but of course has been converted into a full four berth cab by our good friends over at T1 Conversions they really have thrown just about everything at this so just to quickly run through we have got the Skyline Scenic Burgundy Vinyl Roof as you can see there with solar panel if you can see that up on the top of the roof there which is completely flush roof bars with crossbars we've got the bike rack on the back the fantastic interior the vehicle is actually lowered 40 mil all around as well so you get that lovely stance and finished in ascot gray with that absolutely as i say stunning interior biscuit color uh, leather with the red alcantara inserts and just a host of extras including the diesel heater the van shades the list really does go on and on and on if you'd like to see the full advert for uh, this vehicle including the photography and of course the full description uh, please head over to our, our website which is listed here on the sign bridgeendvans.co.uk and of course we will invite inquiries on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange finance on all of our vehicles starting as low as 7.9% APR and we can also take cars or vans in part exchange. Thank you very much for watching.